Hey guys, Brian O'Brien here with another culinary school video here from the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone. As you can see, I have a little bit of a different setting today. I actually moved out of the dorms between semesters. I moved into a home uh, here in Napa, California with a, a couple former students. And uh, so yeah, you'll notice that the settings uh, for these videos are a little bit different. You know, I started semester two. Semester one was just so much fun, tons of work, but I learned way more than I ever thought I could in such a short period of time. Semester two is a little bit more reasonable when it comes to the to the course load. Not that semester one was unreasonable, but semester one they really try to just drive home the academics and getting into semester two and kind of uh, further past semester two, there's a lot more hands-on, there's a lot more kitchen work and a lot less academic classes. So this is week one of semester two and uh, it's starting a little bit slow. I actually only have two classes this this particular week and that is gastronomy taught by Professor Wolf. Uh, gastronomy is a huge subject so just um, touching on uh, on as many things as as many topics gastronomy uh, kind of offers in such a short period of time is going to be challenging, but he kind of asked us students to kind of talk about the things that really are important to us to to kind of develop themes so that he knows what we should really emphasize in in the class, which I think is really important. Really looking forward to that. Again, that's gastronomy. The other class that I'm in is seafood identification and fabrication. And that's taught by Chef Almir. Now, Chef Almir has been in the industry for probably close to 40 years. The man is a wizard when it comes to a knife. He can break down fish with his eyes closed. I literally, uh, during between semesters, I actually worked a conference called Worlds of Flavor, and I actually watched him break down a salmon that was, I don't know, close to four feet in length huge huge fish and he was breaking it down and uh, and when it came down to the really crucial part of, of breakdown i saw him actually look away and kind of talk to somebody while he was doing it which i could never do because uh, you know i don't have the experience uh, as he does and and you know he's able to do that it just it took me back because the man is so experienced that while i would just be just focused on all the little the the tediousness and working on a fish that size would just be uh, such a challenge for me. To him, it's just a, a walk in the park, just another day. So that was really cool. Um, he's taught us this week, we've learned a number of different techniques because different fish are broken down to using different techniques. Uh, we broke down some halibut, we did some rock cod, uh, and a number of other fish. Uh, here's a couple pictures of those. Uh, and so there's different techniques to using uh, on what fish, how to break down certain fish based on a lot of different things. And so we're learning those uh, those little aspects. Um, this seafood class is only three weeks long. Uh, a lot of the classes this second semester kind of be kind of shorter, so the schedule is kind of all over the place. But this first week, all I had was gastronomy and uh, seafood identification and fabrication. Next week, I start. A th I have at a third class of schedule, which is menus. So uh, I'm really looking forward to that. Uh, that's it for week one, guys. Again, my name is Brian O'Brien. I'm a second semester student here at the Culinary Institute of America at Greystone. If you have any questions about what it takes to get enrolled, what it's like to be a student, what it's like to live in the dorms, or even outside in, in your own home, please feel free to email me. You can email me at brian at chefbrianobrien.com. You can just shoot me an inbox uh, message or just comment below. Thanks again for watching, guys. See you next week.